out, color for the style, so I'm noticing crowds. Don't pay attention to the clowns, boy, they're slowing you down. You'd be a fool to buy a ticket when the circus is found. Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Shayna Taylor with Live One here at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. I am joined by CEO Players Club Music Group recording artist, the one and only Clay James. How you feeling? Man, I'm chilling. You what's chilling? You? Hey, yeah, how yeah. are you? Now, yeah. people don't know, I knew Clay before he had the fresh cut Caesar. <laughs> he had the dreads. He is a true Southern boy. But look at us now. Yeah, yeah. Now I know what Southern Players is, but for the people at home, can you tell them a little bit about that and what that group is? Okay, so Southern Players is a duo. It's me and Messiah Freeman, AKA a pimp named Sweet Tooth. That's also my business partner. He the vice president of our label, Players Club Music Group. Um, we got the name Southern Players because we went to Savannah, Georgia. That's where I'm from originally. Okay. We went to Savannah, we made a song called Southern Player Shit with one of my producers named Mazo. We came back to Atlanta, we started performing it off of Edgewood and Peter Streets. Um, Cause you know, those are like hubs for independent artists if you didn't know out there. So we started performing it, song started blowing up. Everybody started calling us Southern Players because the song Southern Player Shit. And then it had reminded them of Outkast. And then maybe like, a few months after that song drop is when I got the co-sign from Big Boy from Outkast. Okay. And then that's that's when he became my mentor. Wow. So yeah. That is amazing. Southern players is taking over the South. That's yeah, a, that's yeah, what yeah. you're telling me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been okay. doing this thing for a minute. Okay, so are you rolling solo out here or you got the whole Southern players with you? I got everybody. What? You know what oh. I got everybody with me. He rolling deep at South by Southwest. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. that. You're like a breakout artist. You need to tell me about how you got discovered by Snoop and how he relaunched Doggy Style Records with you. Like, tell us about that. That's crazy. Okay, so basically what happened, we was out here at South by Southwest. See, it all starts here. We performed on Black Hour Back and Friends. Right. That's one of my big homies from Virginia. Okay. Wasn't a lot of people at the show. You know what I'm saying? But we performed in front of 50 people like it was 5,000 people. Just so happened, Snoop people was in the crowd. Mm. They befriended me and my business partner. They kicked it with us that whole week. And then they told us they was gonna give us an opportunity to get in front of Snoop. So what they did, we got back to Atlanta. They gave our music to Snoop. He called me like two weeks later from a private number. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even think it was him. He called me on three-way with his A&R, oh um, Young God. Sag. Okay. And what happened was we had a conversation. He's like, man, I really like what you and your partner got going on. And I'm gonna call you back in about a week. I'm a rock with you. He called you back from that block number? Nah, he called me back from his <laughs> number after that. He was okay. trying to fill me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So after that, about a week later, he came to Atlanta. He picked us up, mm. took us on tour with him and uh, DJ Drama and Wiz Khalifa. Okay. Um, and later on, we ended up becoming the first act on Doggy Style South. Doggy Style South is a sector of the label for artists coming up out the South. And that's actually ran by his cousin, Papa Lope. So it's Papa Lope and Snoop Dogg that run Doggy Style South. And we were essentially the flagship artist on that side of the label. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah. So are you still associated with Doggy Style Records at all? Or? Yeah, I, I, talk to, I, talk, I talk to Papa Lope all the time. And then I talk to Snoop when I see him, like it's all love. He be busy, so I don't be trying to be all in that man phone like everybody else, you know what I'm saying? I got my own thing going on. Okay, so you would consider yourself like an independent artist and your your label is... Definitely, that's that's the only thing I'm focused on right now. But that's my that. homie though, like I plan on actually going to LA in a couple months and doing something. Okay, you so you're gonna come check out Live One again when you come back to LA? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, I, I need sure. that from you. For sure. uh, I wanna get into how you started becoming a rapper and an artist and what inspired you to be like, this is me. I need this. Okay, well, um, I'm a member of Cap Alpha Psi Attorney Incorporated. Mm -hmm. On our yard, I really was a known person on our yard. You I, know what I'm saying? I, I knew him. So, <laughs> on the, and in the city of Atlanta. So, one of my older bros, one of my profiles was like, man, you need to rap. Like, this shit could probably pop off if you rap, cause everybody know you. Right. So it, it started out as an idea like that. And I wasn't with it at first, mm -hmm. but then I started thinking about it. I was like, damn. It might could work. And then I started I started going to the studio and stuff. Oh my That's god. That's how it happened. The first song I made, it ended up being on Hot 1079 Battlegrounds because Jay Nix used to host all the Kappa parties at Georgia State. Okay. So I slid him the song and uh, he played it on the radio. I ended up winning Battlegrounds seven times in a row. Seven? Just, just yeah, my first song. The song got retired. And then that's when I knew I was like, I'm gonna take this serious because it might could be something for me one day. 
and it is something for you one day and i love that yeah. i just i love all of this the swag it's fly he's known as fly guys like yeah. it's always been him yeah. like tell me what inspired your love for fashion because you in suits and not many men could just be wearing suits all the time like that you just you make it look good yeah it's a skill it is it is but um i would like i i i think my my love for suits came from when I crossed Capitol. Okay. Like at the, the dudes that was before me, uh -huh. my big bros, they was all suited, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Everything was dressed and pressed, like they just got me right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you couldn't, you couldn't, you had to step out to impress. Exactly, exactly. And I knew with me being in such a distinguished group of gentlemen, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I, I needed to pop out too, you know okay. what I'm saying? I needed to stick out. So I had to goddamn hone my craft when it came to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, with the fashion. But I always was big in fashion, like, from elementary school all up, except it was different. Like in the hood, I had all the Jordans, you know what I'm saying? I had all the flashy, all the fubu, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I really would demand where I'm from when it came to the clothes, because my grandma was big on fashion. Oh, okay. So that just came over to the Kappa thing, and then I switched it to the suits. And, I know your you know, grandma was proud, because boys looking sharp, huh? Boys yeah, looking sharp. Yeah, 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 <laughs> for sure. I love that. I want you to tell the people, you got some new projects coming out, new music. Like, what's next in Clay James World right now? It's a lot of things next. Okay. Um, I just dropped a single called Made Away that's produced by NSM Fire. Fire is actually the lead engineer at my studio, Soundlink. I own a studio in Atlanta called Soundlink. Um, Fire's my lead engineer and one of my producers. We just dropped that single, Made Away, on all platforms. We're working on a project together called Raise the Bar. That's going to come out this summer. And I'm also working on a project called Kicking Pimping with Sauce Lord Rich from FKI. Awesome. Super producer, um, but he one of my homies. So we doing a project together. As far as my label, Players Club Music Group, I'm working on Charlize J Project, King Elway Project, Big Smitty Project. Okay. And uh, of course, y'all already know my business partner, Pilt Nay Sweet too. He got his project coming out too. I want to know who and are you most influenced by in your music? I'm gonna say Camouflage. He was a rapper from Savannah. He got killed. Um, so his career got cut short. Okay. That's one. Andre 3000. Got to. And my third person would be Young Dro. Okay. Hey, I love Young Dro. He don't, he don't get his flowers, so. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Young Dro, you feel me? Uh-huh. I, I like that. I like that. Um, what is a major career goal that you see you accomplishing? Like the biggest career goal that you want to accomplish? Where you see yourself? Can I do music and fashion? You do whatever you like. Okay, so for fashion, I want to be on the cover of GQ. Okay, I can see that. Musically, I want to win a Grammy. Noted, right here. All that's about to happen. The most random place that you've been inspired by? The graveyard. Really? Yeah, because when I've when, when I been in the graveyard, I look around and I, it, it, it brings back the reality that nothing lasts forever and we all on God's time. Mm. So you got to make something happen when you feel like it need to happen. Like, don't be, oh no, I got to wait for the perfect timing because you no may not time. ever get that time. Absolutely. Yeah. I love that answer. Biggest pet peeve? I hate when people be late. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, my people around me. a little me, late today, but we ain't going to talk. <laughs> We've always late. <laughs> That's true. Okay. But like, my, everybody that work with me and for me, right. they know I hate that. Like, they know I be early yeah. most of the time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but things happen to where, you know, you might have traffic, you may have, you know, a flat tire. Just I understand stuff happening. you're going to be late with Clay James. There you go. That's all he wants There you go. go. That's all I want. For real. Writing or freestyle? Writing. Writing. Yeah, I'm, I'm old school. I, I still sit up in the um the studio with a pen and a pad. Yeah. Okay. I love that. You got a quick freestyle? You got something you want to spit to the people? Let them know some. From the A-Town to the Seaport, they holding me down. When it come to the underground, I'm holding the crown. Pistol toting, steady smoking, blowing dope in the cloud. Loud color for the style, so I'm noticing crowds. Don't pay attention to these clowns, boy, they slowing you down. You be a fool to buy a ticket when the circuit's in town. It's fame and it's rapping shit. I ain't asked for this, but I can't play with God's gift, so with it, I'm passionate. Listen, that freestyle was crazy. You don't even need a pen or writing. Thank you so much for joining us here so. with Live One, South by Southwest, Austin, Texas. I'm Shayna Taylor, Clay James. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I appreciate y'all having me.